If you do this analysis, it's called modified equation analysis. You derive that, you derive, so instead of deriving a discrete scheme from the differential equation, you use the same Taylor series analysis to derive a differential equation from the scheme. And look at what is the leading term of this modified equation. So this is the modified equation. What is the leading difference between the modified equation and the original equation? And in this case, the leading term is a dissipation. When the leading term is dissipation, you expect to see a lot of dissipation error in the solution. That almost as if you added a dissipation term into the differential equation. Now, this other term, this term is called dispersion. It is a third order derivative. In this case, it's almost overshadowed by the dissipation error because the dissipation error is O delta x, the dispersion error is O delta x squared. Is there some cases where this is not overshadowed by the dissipation error? Central difference with the, with the other people. Central difference, that's right. So to look at the effect of dispersion error, let's instead of using the upwind difference, let's use the central difference to solve the same equation. Central difference is ui plus 1 minus ui minus 1 divided by 2 delta x equal to 0. And again, we do Taylor series analysis. ui plus 1 is equal to ui plus delta x u prime plus half delta x squared u double prime plus delta x cubed u triple prime plus o delta x to the fourth ui minus 1 is equal to this minus delta x plus minus plus o delta x fourth. I mean, this is the same, the same, the same, right? Now we take the difference, ui plus 1 minus ui minus 1 divided by delta x is equal to this got cancelled, oh, 2 delta x. And this is not cancelled, but the 2 delta x is cancelled. So this term, we are having a ui prime. This is cancelled. This term is not cancelled. It is divided by 2 delta x, which makes it delta x square over 6 ui triple prime. Plus o, in this case, o delta x cube. Don't forget, it is divided by delta x. Yes? Fourth order also get cancelled. Oh, yeah, this fourth order is also cancelled completely, yes. So this turns out to be a delta x to the fourth because u quad prime is cancelled. That's a good point. Now, if you look at the modified equation, it's partial u, partial t. This is still here plus u, partial u, partial x, this is partial u, partial x. And now plus u times delta x squared over 6, partial cube u, partial x cube, equal to something small. We actually have never looked at a third order derivative before. So what is its effect? Let's just uh, take a look at the effect numerically. By modifying whatever we coded up, it's this one. Let's copy this thing, paste it here, and call it DUDT central. So we still have the same thing, but here it's U2 minus u end divided by 2 delta x, right? And here, instead of 2 to end, we have 2 to n minus 1 because we can't loop all the way to n. We can only loop to n minus 1. Uh, 
sorry, uh, this and this should be modified to i plus one, so still to end, but like this is three. And this is i minus one, which still starts at one but ends at n minus two. Again, divide by two dot x. And lastly, like making them aligned. Lastly, we have u of one minus u of n minus one, right at the very end. U one is i plus one divided by t dot x. All right, any bug you find on this? The name of the function. Oh, the name of a function. Thank you. Central. All right. Anything else? That's it. Okay. So let's go back to the uh, x equal to n equal to 100 case because it's easier to see the smaller dispersion error in that case. So let's take u0 to be the same thing and od45, same thing. We integrate by, by one period. So let's close the previous one and plot plot u0 first. Okay, so that's still the analytical solution after the wave being advected for any integer period. Let's hold on, hold up, and plot this first uh, using uh, red. No. Oh, I still did upwind, so sorry. Should be central. Okay, so let's close this thing, plot uh, u0 first, and plot this using red. I didn't hold on, sorry. Plot this first, hold on, and plot this at red. Okay. You see, this is a lot more accurate, right? So there is almost no difference. So let's add back it for a little bit more time. So instead of 2 pi, let's do 20 pi. <laughs> All right. So we add back the whole thing over 10 periods. And now let's take a look. Now after 10 periods, the dispersion error is, is showing its effect. So the red one that is close to blue is after one period. The one that is a way that looks a lot more less, a lot less accurate is after 10 periods. So what is the dispersion error doing? It's introducing additional oscillations, that's right. And mathematically, if you do a Fourier series analysis, it is advancing different wave numbers or different frequency of, of waves at different speeds. So the, the first order derivative advances all different frequencies at the same speed. That is why it preserves the shape of the function. And a third order derivative advances different frequencies at different speeds. That is why it is creating oscillations. This is even more obvious, let's say. Let's take a different initial condition. So u0 is equal to, uh, let's take this to be greater than 0.8. So let's see if that works. So plot u0. So we get a wave of, so, so this is the operator that gives me zero or ones, right? So okay, so basically I get a bunch of one over here and all zeros elsewhere. And, and now let's advert it for only one period. I mean, the reason I'm doing this is because this function now contains a lot more higher frequencies, right? It's, it has sharp jumps, has a lot of higher frequencies than our smooth bump. So the effect of the dispersion error, therefore, because it advances different frequency at different speeds, can really be shown with only one period. Okay. Mixture of single and double data for t y zero. So, uh, okay. So use let's do u zero equal to float u zero. Is that no? Double. Okay, that works. Uh, 
okay so now it works and let's plot this of after one period so I forgot to hold on but like uh, if you if you remember what what u0 is uh, let's hold on and the plot x and u0 so u0 is the blue and the, the red is after one period and now it is plain obvious that even after one period we get like wild oscillations almost uh, everywhere so the very high frequencies in the blue curve gets affected at very different speeds all over the domain so that's that's dispersion error okay so when you are looking at a numerical solution your own solver or other people's solver now you should be able to distinguish or spot these kind of errors and these kind of errors are for uh, they are they are all going to reduce as you refine delta x right but the the behavior of them one is basically smoothing the solution away and one is creating artificial oscillations that shouldn't be there should be plain obvious and by the way dissipation error is a lot more difficult to spot than dispersion error because it makes the solution smooth and when you look at a solution that is smooth it looks nice and you are happy <laughs> but like it's it may be 